Welcome to This Week in Orthodoxy, the world's only online video newscast focused on events in the life of the Orthodox Church. I'm Emmy Luveris. These are the stories making headlines this week. Metropolitan Calisto Swear to speak on divine compassion and restoring the human icon. Kodiak's Holy Resurrection Cathedral in Alaska is vandalized. And Archbishop of Athens, Hieronymus, suggests migrants arriving to European borders should be hosted by all EU member nations, not only Greece. First up from Kodiak, Alaska. The Holy Resurrection Russian Orthodox Cathedral was desecrated during a vandalism spree. On Wednesday, June 10th, 21-year-old Archimedes Garcia was arrested as he exited the building on four counts of burglary and criminal mischief for allegedly vandalizing one of Kodiak's most historic buildings and many of its contents. This from the Kodiak Police Department in a press release earlier last week. Thursday morning, Father Innocent Dresdo, Dean of the Holy Resurrection Church, said many holy items were damaged. He continued, it's clear from the pattern of destruction that this dear soul is deeply troubled and his anger and his rage appear to be directed at, frankly, God. And from the perspective of the church, he knew exactly which things were holiest. And those were the things that were in absolute disarray. He said the most holy items have been removed from the church to an undisclosed location and are being reblessed. Father Innocent said Garcia broke several windows and made his way into the church's sanctuary behind the nave, where not only did he damage items, but desecrated them as well. He continued by describing hand crosses were bent upward, and all crosses damaged were bent in the same pattern, including St. Herman Monastic Cross. The greatest damage occurred in the cathedral's altar. The reserved mysteries had been strewn on the floor as well as all holy items. Although the church sustained physical damage in the attack, nothing was lost and services will go on as planned. By midnight, all the windows were boarded up and as much glass as possible had been picked up, swept and vacuumed by not only Cathedral Faithful, but also others from the community at large, said Father Innocent. Prayers for Father Innocent and the Cathedral family, the investigators, the perpetrator, and all around are requested. And next up, the Divine Compassion Distinguished Lectureship is hosted at Hellenic College Holy Cross on Saturday, June 20th, and His Eminence Metropolitan Calisto Swear of the Oclia will offer the keynote address, Divine Compassion and Restoring the Human Icon. The event is presented by St. Catherine's Vision, SCV, an international pan-Orthodox organization of women theologians and other lay servant leaders addressing contemporary concerns of the Orthodox Church. Audience members will have the opportunity to discuss the topic in an open forum at the conclusion of the program. Event proceeds will support SCV's newest initiative, engaging in the issue of divine compassion and human trafficking. To purchase tickets for more information on the event or on becoming an SCV sponsor, visit Divine Compassion, Restoring the Human Icon, Eventbrite.com or log on to stcatherinesvision.com. And lastly, from Greece, Archbishop of Athens and all Greece Hieronymus spoke during a meeting with the delegation of German members from local parliaments, the General Secretary of the Church's Commission for Migrants in Europe, and other officials, hosted by the Greek Orthodox Church's Refugee and Migrant Center. The future of migrants arriving in the country must concern not only Greece, but all the European countries, said the head of the Greek Orthodox Church, firmly suggesting that the refugees arriving at the European borders should be hosted not only by Greece, but by all the other EU countries as well, proportionally to the population of each. He also expressed his opinion about the illegal immigrants, noting that they suffer because of Western world's actions. We ourselves, with our actions, force these people to abandon their homelands, and now they are treated like sheep for slaughter, he said. Archbishop Hieronymus concluded by stating if the visionaries and creators of the European Union who vigorously defended human rights based on the declaration of the Treaty of Rome that called for a deeper union of the peoples of Europe saw its current standing, it is certain that they would break it themselves. 
and in news from OCN. The nominations window for the 2015 OCN Hero closed on May 31st, and we've received some truly great submissions on behalf of individuals who have given selflessly. Stay tuned for who will be the next 2015 OCN Hero. And it's hard to believe OCN is celebrating 20 years of media ministry. We've been busy breaking down communication barriers and building up avenues to connect Orthodox Christians worldwide. We want you to be a part of our growth. Log on to myocn.net and consider making a contribution. For just 10 cents a day, you can comfort, inspire, and inform people all over the world. Be a part of the 10 cent movement. And that brings another edition of This Week in Orthodoxy to a close. For everyone here in our OCN studios, I'm Emmy Luveris. Let's go forth in peace.